doesn't want to add some sparkle into their lives, right? We all do. So it's said that reading is a way to escape your own life. It can take you to faraway lands, put you into other people's shoes. It can make you more empathetic, but it can also inspire you. So you don't want to miss this conversation today with Dr. Christine Sauer because she can help you put the sparkle back into your life. So don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> If you're joining us, welcome to the Writer's Corner live show. We've been going live for over three and a half years. I'm in Cape Town in South Africa, so it'd be great to know where you are joining us from. This live is brought to you by Be Live Media, Creative Edge, and StreamYard. A special warm welcome, whether you are joining us over on Facebook, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, um, on Twitter, and also over on Amazon Live. Do know that we are monitoring the comments in real time. I've got my phone right here, so if you're watching us over on Amazon Live, your comments are monitored in real time and on all the other platforms um, where you are joining us as well. So please, you know, we love to meet new people on the show and we'd be more than happy to give you a shout out to welcome you to the Writer's Corner live show. And today we're going to be talking to Dr. Christine Sauer and she's going to be helping you see how you can put the sparkle back in your life because we know, you know, life happens to all of us. Sometimes we just need a little bit of help. On the show, we are also all about helping you level up because as authors today, um, most people are still having to work remotely. A lot of our authors, we find, aren't able to go into libraries yet. And so book releases are still being done virtually. A lot of book promotions are done virtually. And so some of the things that you can do to level up um, on your live streams when you are promoting your books, for example, is the Logitech Brio camera, which both I use, and also my amazing co-host, Mary Elizabeth Jackson, she also uses the Logitech Brio uh, camera. It's got right, right light and HDR technology, which is trademarked, which means that it can adjust to your lighting conditions so you don't have to worry too much or fuss too much about your lighting. For audio, I use the Samsung um, USB condenser microphone. It's got a solid die cast construction, as you can see here. So it reduces noise vibrations. But not everybody wants to use a big microphone like that. Um, you can also use something as small as the Rode Lavalier microphone, which works great. It's a high quality lapel microphone. But these are all ways in which you can level up your um, live stream. And I know a lot of authors go live just using their phone. And that's fantastic because the phone cameras are amazing as well. But you don't want to hold your phone in your hand because it makes people have the feeling of getting seasick. And so what we recommend is a, some sort of stabilizer that you can use, um, put your phone into, such as the... DJ Osmo, which is a three axis smartphone gimbal, which will help you stabilize, or you can also use something such as the um, iographer. They fit different uh, phone sizes and shapes. So those are just some things that we recommend to help you level up on your live stream. I'm going to bring up my amazing co-host before we introduce Dr. Um, Christine Sauer to the show. She is Mary Elizabeth Jackson, a special needs and disabilities advocate. She's also a ghostwriter and an award-winning author in her own right. Um, do feel free to check out her very latest release called Cheers from Heaven along with Thornton Klein. So let me say amazing hello to Mary Elizabeth Jackson. Mary, welcome to the show. Mm -hmm. Hi, good morning, good evening for you, because <laughs> we are global, so we're in different 
areas, time zones, all that fun stuff, right? Even climates this time, it will all year. So, um, but yeah, thanks for uh, the beautiful warm welcome. It is so nice to see you today. I'm super excited about being here. And um, our author today is somebody we both personally know and just love. And she just, her energy is fantastic. And she's, um, she's very inspirational in her own right. Um, with her own life story and the work that she's doing. So we're excited to have her here and share her with others, aren't we? Absolutely. So for those of you who have not yet met Dr. Christine Sauer, she's a retired German trained and board certified physician and naturopath. Uh, she currently works as a holistic brain and mental health professional, a coach, educator, and consultant. Now, something's very different about Dr. Christine Sauer, and that is that she refers to herself as the doctor who knows how you feel. And the reason for that, and she can expand on her story, it's because she truly has walked her talk. Um, you know, if you are suffering from mental health or physical health issues, um, she spent time in a mental hospital herself, and we're going to ask her to share her story very briefly. So she really, really knows what you're talking about and the struggles. And that's why um, I think her Sparkle series is going to be so inspirational because she really knows how to add that sparkle to life. So without any further ado, let's give a warm welcome to our amazing guest, Dr. Christine Sauer. Hi, Mary. Hi, Hi Bridgette. It's such an honor to be on the same show as you two accomplished ladies. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we are honored to have you here. You're you're just, you know, we we are um we're all in a book together, a collaborative book. And so uh, that's how Bridgette and I got to meet you. And you're just such an inspiration. And I love every time I get to talk to you, you always have so much wonderful information um, to share and to inspire others with. And, you know, that's really the passion of your heart um, is to inspire others to be their best. And I think especially for those of us who've kind of walked through that tar in life and the depths of the caverns and the abyss of the ocean, you know, it really, your compassion level for others is so different than if you've never been through anything, you know, you just can't relate. And so, um, you know, as, as loving human beings, we don't want other people to suffer. So we're and it's intended for us to share our stories to inspire others, isn't it? It is, it is very fascinating. And I must say, yes, I went through the hell myself. And actually, when you join the Sparkle Sisters, you just have to point your camera to the QR code or go to that uh, sparklesisters.org. It's all free. Uh, you get an email series where I reveal to you a lot about my story that you may be able to relate to. Because the gist is, yes, I have been in a mental hospital. Yes, I have been in a QT room that looks like a jail cell. But I came out the other end, a better person, a stronger woman, and a true sparkle sister. And my mission has never been stronger than before to help others overcome depression, anxiety, mental health disorders. I help families with their children because it's more and more prevalent. It's really bad. And... I see that conventional medicine is often as its wit's end. And in my recent TED talk that's just coming up in February, TEDx, uh, I called it bridging the gap, how to treat depression naturally. I'm actually talking about how, in my opinion, the future of healthcare could be to bridge that gap between the suffering individual and the highly trained specialist. Mm. That is amazing. That is amazing. Could you give us just a, you know, without going into too much detail, can you just give us a brief overview of your story? 
Absolutely. I was born and raised in Germany and in a in a very good family my father was a physicist my mother a chemist and i was set up for success uh, at least uh, uh, mental not mentally but uh, by knowledge so i studied to become a physician always wanted to become a physician thankfully that uh, my fa my parents approved of that so i became a physician a naturopath married <laughs> my first husband uh, that I didn't realize was really an abusive person, two-faced, very excellent physician. I learned a ton from him being a physician, a family doctor, dermatologist, allergist in Germany. But it was also an abusive marriage where I ended up being feeling like a doormat because he was dominating, he abused our two children, and I let it happen. So there was a lot of guilt involved for me letting it happen. And in the end, it ended up very interesting because my back gave out. I couldn't walk no more. I ended up in the hospital. And eventually, I fell into a deep depression and couldn't work no more. And my ex, uh, I call him ex, he already had decided that we wanted to immigrate to Canada. And shortly before we were slanted to go and I couldn't work, I was depressed. He decided to commit suicide. So, wow, I was sitting there, depressed myself, in chronic pain with two teenage paper sons, a widow, <laughs> by suicide, and immigration papers to Canada. That wasn't easy, I tell you that. Wow, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, to have to deal with. I, I, that's really heavy. And, you know, for anyone out there who is going through, like Christine said, the hell of life, you are a living testament that you could go through all of that and be here and sparkle like you do, because you definitely sparkle. But, you know, I that sometimes there are things that we look at and think there is no way you could get through that you know, or you feel that way about your life, there's no way you're going to come out the other side. And the human spirit is absolutely incredible. The human body, the human brain is just, you know, it, I, and we've really just scratched the surface of those things, haven't we? Is Brain is your specialty. So we really have only scratched the surface, haven't we? Uh, yeah, a little bit, tiny bit scratching. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, Eventually, I did come to Halifax, and of course, it made it worse because I was in a new environment, didn't know nobody. So I decided to end my life, and that's how I ended up in a Halifax mental hospital. And to be honest, I learned the most in the mental hospital and in the six-week group uh, psychotherapy program that the Canadian healthcare system was generous enough to give me. And... I learned a lot from my fellow inmates in the mental hospital. Yes, the doors were locked. And from talking with people, and I suddenly realized I'm no, nobody special. I am just a regular human being. I have a certain kind of knowledge and education that not everybody has. But I'm just a regular human like all of us. Mm. And that's when I started to really sh ch change. And at first I spiraled down for the next 10 years. I struggled because medication and psychotherapy helped me to exist, but not to thrive. Uh, that's so, so interesting. Mm. Yeah. And that's that is what I call now the gap, because many um, people fall in that yeah. gap and they exist. Yes, but they don't pain. really thrive in life. They mm. are not able to live a passionate, purposeful, productive life anymore. And so how can did you change it? Mm, sorry. So how did you then come up with the Sparkle um, series? You know, coming from your background and where you've been through, um, what inspired the Sparkle series? You know, that, that is another very interesting story, how I got into the Sparkle series. Actually, it's two series that I'm writing currently, because after reinventing my own life and learning everything that there was to learn, I decided it was time for me to give back. Mm -hmm. I was a person that was meant to help other women struggling like that to find their sparkle and get the spring back in their steps. So I invented... Uh, the Sparkle Sisters, which my best friend Maxine came on with the name. You can see her with me on the sparklesisters.org website talking about what it really is. 
And together we are writing a series of books, of course, journals, my daily sparkle of gratitude. The next one will be the goal achievement. And then a series of nonfiction fiction books. One will be Becoming Sparkling Susie, the story of a very depressed, sad lady, how she transforms herself to Sparkling Susie. And that's what I will talking and performing in Toronto on stage. That will be fascinating. It will be on wow. video. I can't wait to do that with a human prop. <laughs> wow. Right. And so that'll be your story that you're going to be sharing? It will be my story, but also that of my client. I try to generalize it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it is more applicable to many women. And that's what I'm writing about in the Sparkle Sisters. And there will be helpful books that are related to the program I'm offering. But the books, of course, will be much cheaper. Like uh, um, the first book is... Uh, Foods that help you to sparkle in the Recover Your Sparkle series and uh, things like that. It's just awesome. I'm so inspired by all the ladies that helped me to develop that. And it was a lady who's a marketing strategist that helps me to actually put it all in action and in place. Oh, That's my God. Amazing. We women are so powerful. And if somebody's watching it and they are in a bad spot, we women are powerful. And together we are strong. Absolutely. And we don't realize, you know, we have women in general have been demoralized all throughout history, you know, is uh, the second and second in the back and not, you know, be seen, not heard and all those things. And, and, you know, we're the ones who, if it's your choice or you're able to have babies, we, we, you know, that power of birthing a human um, for, for a woman's body to just be able to do that it is very, very powerful in and of itself um, to nurture and love another human being, whether it's your child or someone else, or, or even if you're a caregiver or a child down the street or in a, you know, a neighbor next door, an aunt and uncle or whatever, the, the power of compassion and sympathy and empathy and feeling and nurturing is, um, well, it, it, it is in and of itself. And yeah, I, I'm so grateful to be able to have that ability. And it, it's, you know, sometimes I look at the dynamic of a mother and father uh, in a family and or that masculine female energy, whatever form that comes in and, and the, the role that it plays in a child's life because it teaches them both sides of, of what they need to learn and what they need to understand about the world and communicating with others and responding to situations. And, 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 and all of that is really powerful, isn't it? It's absolutely powerful. And Mary, I had the pleasure to speak with you on another uh, occasion about what you do. And I absolutely admire you for the advocacy and the work you do for children, special children, especially, but all children are special in some way. And they are all the same. And the books you write are so special. I can't oh, believe thank it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that so much. It's a, it's a passion of mine, you know, to empower kids. Watching a child struggle because they were born with uh, an inability or a challenge and watching them struggle with that, and but then seeing them overcome those things, that's what I'm talking about, the human spirit. It, it, mm. it just changes the way you look at life, seeing actually witnessing someone overcoming something. It is amazing. You know, even just watching, you know, the first steps of a child when they couldn't do it. And then, you know, cause we all had to learn to do that ourselves to go from the sitting to crawling, to standing, to walking. It is so powerful, isn't it? It's very powerful. And I deal with the people that have grown up and some of them achieve the transition and others still beat themselves up because they tell themselves when they're trying to walk, you idiot, you'll never learn to walk. And you would never say that to a child because they would never learn to walk. Yeah. So, so we've got to learn to be kind to ourselves, um, you know, and I think that's a lot about what, what your book is about, mm. is being kind to ourselves and learning to sparkle again. Tell us a little bit about the cover of your book. How did you come up with the design for... Um, your daily sparkle book? I actually used the designer that I very cherish. I wrote books before that she did the cover page. They did the cover page and it's, it's 100 covers. I can recommend them, I think. And uh, they, I told them, I want 
a sparkling background like a night sky because we all are inspired when we look at night at the sky and maybe we see a shooting star there it is mm -hmm. and of course for many people the sun has not risen yet so a sunrise was the right thing to have in the image mm. and the designers made that wonderful background image that i absolutely love i love it so much it's on all my websites related to the sparkle sisters <laughs> It's beautiful, it's really though. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. And, you know, it's it's nice to when we're when we're being creative and we're coming up with something. Uh, it's so I, I love seeing that come to fruition for someone um, and those metaphors coming forward. And then it's it's, you know, not everybody gets it when they look at it to see the depth of all that you're trying to tell there. And so it's nice for you to be able to share with us exactly what all of that means, um, because it's important. And in the sun right now, you know, what you're doing is so needed for all of us, you know, anything we can put back into the world that's positive is such, it's so needed right now. I'm so glad that you, this has come to you to do, and, you know, there's no one better to deliver it than you. And the, the energy of what you represent and how you deliver and how you are able to communicate with the, with others and, and just that connection, um, all of it, we're very lucky to have you be able to do this. And we will definitely share this with women and, um, you know, direct them because it's great to sparkle and shine. And all of us need to turn our light up right now. It's been a little dim for a couple of years, hasn't it? I, Christine, I really... did you write this book with any specific woman in mind? Like, you know, did you are you targeting a specific woman with a specific need? Well, I'm really writing it for women that are in middle age mostly uh, that may or may not be working or staying home and have teenage kids and that somehow their sparkle is already gone out because children by nature they sparkle and then education and society annihilates their sparkle and we let it happened and that's a shame and i'm trying to help those women where the sparkle either is gone or is just flickering a little bit to start with a daily sparkle and what better is gratitude and i tell them every moment that we have right now is like a little sparkle and it's up to you to make it a daily sparkle and not to let it go by wasted by worrying about the future or just being angry and feeling guilty about the past and that we can all do we can take this little moment that we have right now and let it sparkle and for me the sparkle is right now it's in the air i can feel it i can sense it even though it's on video the whole world is sparkling hmm. yeah. it's easy isn't it to feel stuck in the past i think that's where a lot of us um do come unstuck is that we we get stuck in the past. We get stuck at feeling angry and we mm. don't know how to move forward from that anger phase. So is that something that you talk about in the, in the book? Uh, yes, I will talk about not in this book, but in future books and in the program, of course, because my stance is anger can be a very helpful emotion and give you the energy to move forward so much that I actually have a saying, get mad, not sad. Mm. Because okay. When, when we direct the anger to against ourselves, we, uh, it's destructive. When we direct it to the outside as aggression or passive aggressive behavior, it is destructive. But if we can transform it, and I'll show my clients how to do that into positive energy, that's when the sparkle lights up. That's when yeah. the aha moments and insights go up because I tell, and I say that in the TED talk too, sorry, I can't, I really took a, a, a long time crafting that 10 minute talk. Uh, uh, when we, we don't learn by gaining knowledge, we don't grow by gaining knowledge. We gain by own insights and a series of aha moments and then taking targeted action from there. Mm, absolutely. Yes. And, you know, we get caught up in those repetitive conversations, don't we, in our mind. And we have arguments with 
whoever we're angry about, like Bridgette's saying, we get stuck there and we have those arguments. Sometimes you have them out loud, right? When nobody's there, <laughs> the person's not even there, right? The person may have passed away or maybe it's, you know, your spouse or uh, your, somebody in the family. And we, we have to catch ourselves and stop ourselves from doing that and own what we're doing in that moment that we're keeping that anger going, we're holding on to it. We're being stubborn in a way about not letting it go or facing it and doing something positive with it. Um, and so once we can catch ourselves and become aware of that, then we absolutely can uh, be able to remedy that or work through it. Or And, and part of it's because we all want to be heard. You know, every single human on this planet wants to be heard with whatever they're feeling or going through. And so some of those, some of that anger is just those wounds that you've never, just never felt heard. You know, one of my favorite book of all times is Siddhartha by Hermann Hesse. And he describes how in the end, the old Siddhartha sits at the river and the river does something. I won't, uh, I won't tell here. You need to write, uh, read that book. It's a really good book. The river does something, and he has an insight, and he goes back to his old friend uh, Govinda, and together by listening, he's kind of a coach. His wounds are healed. His wounds from the past. He can let go, and I see my work as a coach. Not so much to teach people anything and not to just sit there and listen. Listening is important, but I ask questions. And I sometimes interrupt people, interrupt to disrupt ingrained thought patterns and make space for new and often healthier ones. And that's when the change happens. And a good, effective coach is really good at doing that. And it's not just me. There's many of us that can do that. That's true. It's just asking, you know, being knowing how to ask the right question so that you can bring out the best in, in a person. That's a true gift. Not everyone has that um, ability. Um, and so there are coaches and there are coaches. And I think what makes you special is because you've lived through the experiences. Uh, you've been on the other side. You know how hard it is. Not all, not all doctors and not all coaches have that hindsight to be able to um, to open up people on a level that you can with your uh, with your past experiences, how can people reach out to you, Christine? Well, the easiest way is go to the SparkleSisters.org website. Uh, subscribe; it's all free. Just enter your name and email, and you'll get emails from me. Reply to any of these emails, and I will not only send you a free PDF copy of the Daily Sparkle of Gratitude, but you have to write me a personal email to get it. It's not in the email automations. <laughs> have to have a little bit contact, and I also invite you if you want to. You'll get the link to book a free session with me, so you can meet me in online person and we can talk about what it would mean to work with me and if that's something you're interested in. But even just joining the Sparkle Sisters for free, we have bi-weekly Sparkle Sisters sharing sessions of 4S meetings. I'm a sucker for simplicity and abbreviations. And uh, every two weeks we'll meet, we'll meet and just share laugh, cry together, and I'll just moderate the whole session to provide a safe and supportive atmosphere so nobody's allowed to bully anybody else. So there will be some rules, but nothing over the top. I want to make sure that nobody gets pushed over the edge. And mm -hmm. if I'm available after each call, if needed. That's really, that's good. What What is a, a takeaway from today, like a, a gold nugget or a sparkle that you can send people off with today but really i said it for years and it's true it's never too late to change to start changing your life and it's never too late to live your best life never ever you may be 80 84 85 90 if you still have another day and most of us hopefully do you can change your life and make a positive difference for yourself, for others, and the world at large. And that's what creates the sparkles. Mm, very nice. I think that's an awesome sparkle for us to um, 
to say thank you to everyone for joining us today on the show. Um, you were watching the show with Christine Sauer, and she was talking about her series on sparkling and learning to find your sparkle if you've lost it along your journey of life. And that all happens to us at some point or another. So thank you very much, Dr. Christine. It's great having you on our thank show you. today. And uh, thank you to our amazing audience, whether you've watched us on Facebook, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, and also over on Amazon Live. It was wonderful having you join us today. So we'll see you back on the next episode of the Writer's Corner live show. Mm -hmm.